Hello everybody and welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jims McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metzel. I refuse to speak until I have a stream and now I do. Hello everyone, I am Gorilla Metzel. It is time for Monday Night Claw. Seems like a pretty short break because we had a delayed stand firm just 24 hours ago. But we are in our final run up to TLC. We had some revelations on Stan Firm, the big one being that Mr. Jim McMahon and Scaramezza, the co-founder of shit, have struck an accord. There will be no more interruptions in JFW broadcasting between now and TLC, assuming Mr. Jim McMahon allows shit to compete equally and does not buy out the Wednesday show, letting shit continue Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. UTC. And now it looks like Mr. Jim McMahon is gearing to come right out and fumble his way through some more official announcements for this Sunday's pay-per-view. Let's get to ringside and hear, oh boy, what he's going to try and say. Well, first of all, Look what we've got, we've got a nice little overlay here on the stream. You won't be able to see it, uh, Gorilla, unless you're looking at the actual oh, stream. Oh, you finally did it. Yes, isn't that clever? Uh, much better. Where'd you get that idea from, I wonder? I don't know, I just had it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure shit does that. God damn it! Shut up about shit, Gorilla! I'm about to speak. Well, last week, Ardvac won the right for number one contender for the extra arms butt title that Wanger has. Well, as you all know, Wanger's a dastardly piece of shit who robbed the great, the great one, Jimmy Fantastic, and that's an absolute disgrace. My good friend, oh, hey, Jimmy Min Max Tastic, robbed by Wanger. So I tell you what, Wanger, you might get robbed by some extra competitors. Three more guys in a table match, elimination at TLC. And those guys are up next. It's going to be Thor, Frostlord, and Marcel. That's right, Marcel. I can't think of anything clever to say about him, but it's Marcel. The guy with the muscles and the ladies, except he's got no ladies and only some muscles. So there you go. That's what's happening. Probably, maybe, sometime. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it here first of all the takeaways from Mr. Jim McMahon's announcement right now. Finally agreeing to terms that it is officially Jimmy Min Max Tastic and not Jimmy Fantastic. Let it be known <laughs> throughout now in all per perpetuity. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, going right into it, a table match, Frost Lord, Fa, and Marcel, and he, look at the look on his face, he damn well knows what he's getting into here. Table. And, uh, <laughs> table. But, hey, you know what, maybe Marcel McDaniels has found his calling coming off of an incredible, and if you haven't seen it, Go watch it after this show uh, in a, just an incredible table match win last Monday night on Claw. You can find that replay at JimmyFantastic.com or go to YouTube and search for it. Jimmy Fantastic. You'll find that match, that show, and all of the other JFW action right there on YouTube. And now we are going to gear up for about 18 minutes of intros and three minutes of action. Oh, Let's yeah. get to ringside. <laughs> and 17 of those 18 minutes of intros all coming from Thor. <laughs> Absolutely. Glorious. But first up, it's Table. <laughs> And there he is, triumphant <laughs> after last Monday night. <laughs> Slut life himself. <laughs> Marcel McDaniels. Has he uh, has he disappeared from the face of this stream? I think he has, yeah. Yeah. Nah, I'm not surprised, but uh <laughs> 
still not entirely convinced he wasn't a bot, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. He's the one who put one in 44 on his record. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's got a great face as well, hasn't he, on the on the screens. That's oh, always it's the great. best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there he is, your table, Victor. And now these two other guys don't know that we've ever seen them in a table match. They're no, going to get know. well acquainted right now. Can... <laughs> Why does his ass say just lady? <laughs> That's Tony, it's all Tony's work. <laughs> and here we go, one half of the Two Heads champions will not be defending that title on Sunday at TLC. I'm being told that Tony plays for poorly sake, Tony. and Clavius will shit. be involved in the title defense for the Two Heads champions, but we have no idea what's going to happen there. We thought it was going to be the unnatural snackers, but after last Monday, not so sure. Satterfield coming out here later tonight. Maybe he can uh, find a way to get them back on track. We'll find out. But right now, it's Frost Lord Army looking to impress, going into an extra arms belt championship table elimination match this Sunday, 8 p.m. UTC. Yep. And uh, shortly arriving in the ring right before that pay-per-view, Thaw making his entrance now. We'll see him again in six days. <laughs> Time to go learn a new language. <laughs> Hello, everybody, by the way. <laughs> Off to play a rebel. Rebel game with overtime. <laughs> We've got a like a three minute entrance. <laughs> yeah, I know. So you can almost uh you could almost get a full rebel turn in during it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> almost. You can have a you can have a one minute turn in three minutes, can't you, funnily enough? I did I did a little bit of that at the weekend. I did a block fifteen seconds to uh choose which dice to use, 15 seconds to choose which direction, and 15 seconds to decide whether to follow up. Well, that was your first mistake. My strategy in Blitz Pit was to get my turns done <laughs> in a, an easy 15 seconds and have the game be done by turn se uh, 13. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. let me tell you, Jim, I probably enjoyed my afternoon a bit more than you. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, that was a tricky turn, and, and I thought it was worth it. I enjoyed this pit. I actually enjoyed it this time. I think it did. It did help uh, focusing on it rather than streaming it myself. Like, well, I mean, I know I streamed it. Do you know what I mean? Rather than talking about it myself. Yeah. I think that helped a lot. I think it helped with the adversity in the uh, vampire game as well. Because I didn't have to talk about the adversity. I just had to deal with it. <laughs> And here we go, <laughs> Thaw going right into Marcel McDaniels and Frostlord grabbing that table. Maybe looking, uh, this is not elimination. First one through the table uh, will uh, will cause the match to end and the person who puts him through that table will be declared the winner. Yep. And oof, uh, Frostlord doing this backwards, trying to put the table <laughs> through other people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that'll work, Gorilla. Yeah, it'll do something all right. And Frostler <laughs> commanding the ring right now. Oh! But, oh, no, there's that patented chop block. Somehow Marcel took out both people <laughs> with that chop block. And look at this. It's <laughs> so good. Daniels, table in hand. No, oh, boy. He's found his niche. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fro <laughs> uh, table meet Marcel's fist. Marcel's fist loses. <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh man, imagine if he just finished him after all the entrances. I know. It's to be done. <laughs> Marcel taking over here, throwing Fro <laughs> oh, throws throws Thaw out, but then Frostlord gathering Marcel, and now this is Frostlord's match to lose table right there. He could just put him through it if he'd stop celebrating. <laughs> Looks like he's given Marcel a chance to get up, though, and oh, oh, he's gonna slam him into that table. And now Thaw back in the ring here, yeah. as uh, Slut Life falls to his knees <laughs> from a vicious chop. <laughs> table. Ooh, mighty AF's Frost Lord really came for a fight tonight. Yeah, pretty dominating. Absolutely. These big chops. But he is in the ring against the man himself, Marcel McDaniels. <laughs> as you can see, easily getting last <laughs> Christ. through the mat. And now, what is Frostlord thinking? Oh, this is going to be bad. This could be bad. Really he just might bad. have given Thaw an opening here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Pause for a quick cough, nibble. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Lots of tossing around here. And yeah, man, poor Marcel being picked on by both these guys, it seems. Absolutely. Has to roll out of the ring and now Thaw sends Frostlord into that table. This could be this could be a big moment for Thaw here. Couple chops into him. Can he pick him up and put him through it? <laughs> oh no, the comeback. And now Marcel back in the ring one more time, sizing up both opponents. <laughs> oh, well, well, Marcel taking his time. Oh no, this is it. Oh, this, this is, is it. it. Marcel just bailing. <laughs> <laughs> and he throws the table to the ground. How did I lose this match? It's a fake power bombing Thaw through the table in the corner. <laughs> and would you look at that? <laughs> Marcel McDaniels maybe using his veteran skills in the table match, knowing, hey, you know what? I got a real one of these in six days' time. I'm just going to vacate, let Thaw go through it. It's no skin off his back. <laughs> Incredible. He did get a bit predetermined there, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And that was a pretty quick affair. If that happens again on Sunday, well, it's an elimination match, so it won't just end it, but uh, it'll be a pretty good start. Oh. And now, would you look at this? The Chaos Chosen coming out as a trio to face Cockball and Wang Torture. This match has just uh, got a lot of emotion and energy on the line, but not much of a feud behind these two. Cock and Ball Torture have been the uh, punishment squad of the JFW, and Wanger has uh, been oh, hanging hey, out with them for a little bit of moral support as he doesn't have too many other friends in the business right now. But uh, I don't think he's going to find friends across the ring against these guys. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, it's terrifying, isn't it? The chaos chosen. Oh, boy. Taking ages to load, isn't it? <laughs> it's a lot of meat, a lot of meat to process, Jim. That's true. And of course, Demon Rick, right there. He is your uh, Chaos Chosen Champion. A belt that seemingly has no value or uh, or anything anymore. Might as well just be the million dollar belt. Because it is basically fused to his waist these days. No one coming for it. The light heavyweights have been all a scramble. More on that later tonight. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. But it's uh, the chaos chosen against Cockball and Wang Torture. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
Just wait for this bezel. Just wait. Wait till you see for your parents are horrified. <laughs> Here we go. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I might not fully approve of this. Jim, I'm hearing that we we do have a uh, we received a call earlier on from Demon Prince Rick Reckless. No video to go with it because I'm a lazy fuck, but uh, we could probably <laughs> cut to that and play it. A huge announcement from Demon Prince Rick Reckless. Whenever right. you get a moment to play that for us, should we play it now? When the we can wait till after the match. Okay, we'll play after the match. I tried to ask you that on uh, Discord, but Discord isn't working for me at the moment. Uh-oh. <laughs> you may have heard all of the window errors uh, when I started streaming, and I don't know why it's happened. That's never happened before. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just I'll, I'll post it directly to the uh, wrestling channel later on. Uh, right. We don't have to worry about it now and risk uh, shutting everything down. <laughs> uh, so you heard it here first. Later tonight, a, me a message sent from Demon Prince Rick Reckless to the rest of the JFW universe will be on display right on Discord, Jimmy Fantastic's Discord, hashtag wrestling channel. Stay tuned for that. Glorious. There he is, Wanger, the extra arms belt champion. Disgusting, really, that he robbed Jimmy Fantastic, didn't he? Hashtag Jimmy's the real champ. <laughs> ah, there you go, corporate AF, good old Frosty. <laughs> I love Moridan's bit here, look at that. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why uh, <laughs> Frost Lord Army of um, Corporate AF is rooting for Jimmy Minmax Tastic. <laughs> the one reason uh, Corporate AF is of any relevance, in my opinion, is because uh, Team Fantastic imploded right in front of Mr. Jim McMahon, and he had to float <laughs> along to the next available uh, group of bootlickers he could find, and that was. <laughs> The biggest bootlickers of them all, the military boys, hashtag mighty AF, hashtag corporate AF. <laughs> oh, then cocky Zinn against full blown gi giant demon Rick. Absolutely. Demon Rick taking a right to cocky right now. <laughs> and this one might be a, a punishment the other way around. Maybe Cockball and Wang Torture uh, getting their just desserts here. Maybe. <laughs> rope a dope. I think you are both the rope and the dope in this case, Cocky. <laughs> oh, well, there's a big counter. Absolutely, and he's going to look to tag in his part. No, he doesn't. Opts not to, and that's going to be a problem for him, I think. Yep, there finds the big chaos elbow there. <laughs> and now sent into that very unfriendly corner. <laughs> Absolutely. Bukaki able to fight right back out of it. Yeah, Send Rick well, over into he? his own. 
And there it is, uh, the literal fucking goblin Moradam <laughs> tagged in. It's gonna be launches him in for the crossbody. Great move. <laughs> Oops. Oh, but Rick able to come right back. <laughs> Oh, I think the days of uh, Blood Bowl Jesus Rick are long dead now, Purple Chest. I think what <laughs> we've been stuck with is this corrupted, malfeasant beast. <laughs> oh, God. And he just flattens the literal fucking goblin himself. And now Demon Rick doing all the work for himself. Will he tag out at any point? Who knows? <laughs> he probably won't need to. Well, <laughs> he has a spotty history in the ring. <laughs> nope, no way. Retconning that pure, uh, pure yeah, dominance. That's right. Even if he lost, he still won because look what he did to uh, our beloved Bezel. Exactly. Not as bad as what he could have done, which is forced him to wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> At least he hasn't done that. <laughs> Oof. Big kick. <laughs> Fumbling clothesline. Well, and uh, Demon Rick having a long and painful discussion about the changes to Blood Bowl 2020 with Mordam <laughs> outside the ring. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's the worst thing anyone can do is give Bezel a belt. <laughs> Yeah. And now, dangerously close to a double count out here. Rick maybe doesn't there care too much. Looks like he's going to work him back into the ring, though. <laughs> no, man. Oh, no. Rick. No, Mordem's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, just. Gets in on the nine count. Rick back for more, though. Whoa. Side Russian leg sweep takes him down. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> the booth has been invaded by wolves, folks, howling, howling at the chaos forces on display. <laughs> oh, man, Moradam coming straight for Bessel's balls. <laughs> Everything's fine over here. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna have to endure this, folks. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Uh, well, my fiance started putting her shoes on to take them out for a you know what, and they got excited. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> being tortured in the background. <laughs> Cody, shut up. <laughs> tagged out yet does it matter no, does hasn't. anything matter he hasn't he's just dominating <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know if you can hear this folks behind me <laughs> yeah <laughs> you should you should stream necro and just have your dogs in the background if you <laughs> i generally do i know i just <laughs> If you don't know anything about sled dogs, they're very vocal. Yep. 
me too, Mordale. <laughs> Rick still hasn't tagged out. <laughs> oh, God, he has a sharpshooter. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, folks, uh, it looks like the dogs have cleared out. We can focus on the match again. <laughs> Demon Rick not getting a chance to tag out, not taking a chance to tag out. Don't really know, but it's about time for him to do so. <laughs> it is about time, yeah. Oh, fuck me, I'm crying. <laughs> that was something, wasn't it? <laughs> this is why I usually have to walk the dogs before the show. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look at this, the crucifix power bomb. <laughs> That's a bigger than Cocky's whole body. <laughs> and a two count kick out, table leg, and Moradam making no effort whatsoever to break up that pin. Yep. Oh, oh there's the flip me. The flip me. The flip me is in. <laughs> He's gonna drag him to the pretty much the same place. <laughs> And now, table leg coming in to break that one up. Flap fart. Oh, no, flap fart connecting with Rick. Rick thinking about going top rope here. Yeah, he's really thinking well, about it. Yeah, he's thinking about not going top rope anymore. Now, finally, tagging in Bezel. He's finally made the tag out, and Bezel is in to try and end this match. But Cocky looking to get out of the ring. Doesn't tag out, but does get oh gets the advantage right away, and now he tags in more damn here. Wang is still yet to have uh, taken part in any of the action. Yeah. Oh. You know what? It's uh, Bezel's got yet more tattoos there with vote vote gore on his knuckles. <laughs> Dear, <laughs> I've gone too far. <laughs> I, I, because, uh, it's not being made. Lemon. His asshole is perfect as is, more damn, or Lemon. Don't, don't pretend that it's not. <laughs> Oof, the double knee stomp. More damn. Very pleased with himself, even though he's done very little of the work here. Yeah. Oh, big, big counter. This is dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> this is a dangerous place to have a toll. And he got punished as well. And Wang is in, the big guy. <laughs> oh, the crotch chop to the, you know, the exposed crotch. <laughs> and now it looks like he's gonna, oh, yep, stomps right <laughs> on the midsection there. Nasty. Bezel. Bezel not phased by the bigger gentleman, is he? He's, uh, he's holding his own. The yep. man of a thousand holds. Absolutely. I mean, Bezel on full display for the world. He's got... <laughs> doesn't have much confidence. Uh, <laughs> doesn't have much conf confidence... Uh, or has enough confidence to burn there. <laughs> oh. oh, the running knee in the corner. Here comes the second one. Oh, Mordam taking a swipe, but <laughs> missing. Oh, oh look at that in. fire up. Oh, it looks like he's ready to, to hit him with a teabag driver. I think so, yeah. Um, he's going to wrench that arm first, though. <clears throat> Oof, ow. And look at this. Stomping right in on that elbow. <laughs> the booty popping moonsault. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Sticks it. Does he go for the pin here? He does not. Oh, there's the, the Benzai drop. drop. <laughs> the Benzai drop sits on him. Oh, no, but more damn distracting the ref from the top. <laughs> oh, and more damn. More of them kicking Demon Rick and not, but Wanger able to kick out. Last second, I thought that was it. For sure. Incredible. 
Oh, Bez is going to tie in flat fod. Here we go. He and here you go. The enforcer of the chaos goes and recently added to the ranks. Oh, boy. <laughs> and here's two big men you want to see go at it, Jim. Oh, yeah. I'll have seen any two big muscly men go at it, to be honest. I'm aware. <laughs> But he's actually Flatfeld's been dominated by Wanger so far, hasn't he? Thus far, he sure has. For a guy that was uh, just savaged by Bezel's attacks, <laughs> Wanger's really mounting a comeback here. <laughs> yeah. Might want to tag out though. He's oh no, he's gonna go right for that sharpshooter. Nope, not a sharpshooter. Cloverleaf. Doesn't no, does, no, there wasn't even a cloverleaf. Don't know what that was. No, it's weird, isn't it? It was like a shitty figure fall. Yeah. Figure now he's going to tag out, I think. Tags in Cocky, the man who started this match. Cocky's done the lion's share of the work in this one. Can he get them a win? Going to be a tall task against uh, uh, Flatbart here, though. Yeah. Oh, vicious vicious neck crank. <laughs> so much <just a> cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy this is the triple Germans flat fart signature whoa absolutely devastating cocky not looking good Yep, that oh. cock is getting a bit more flaccid now. Busted open <laughs> the forehead there. And now the Alt F4, it's coming. Can Cocky uh, withstand it? Doesn't look oh. like... Oh, no, he does. He does, and into the neck breaker. What a move by Cocky. And now Cocky may be looking for that sharpshooter. Oh, man. I would be shocked if uh, Flatfart tapped out to this, though. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened indeed. He's got him in the middle of the ring. Bezel and Demon Rick not coming to his aid. And there it is. He's able to worm his way free and power out. And now, what's Flatfart going to go for? It's gonna, not much. <laughs> Wire back in. Taller than most guys, but not taller than Flat Fat. Yep, or Rick. Or Rick, no. Taller than Bezel and Mordam, though. <laughs> That's not nothing. Oh, and look at this. Here comes Rick. Another flip me coming? Oh, no! Wanger, Wanger powers out of it. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, here it is! Power bomb. Crucifix power bomb. He's got him up. He's got him down. Oh, oh clocks his head on the ropes on the way down, and he's way over in that corner here. Doesn't go for the pinfall though. Just <laughs> oh, just a right hand puts him down. <laughs> and now oh, celebrated a little too soon though. Backbreaker by table leg and let table leg doesn't tag out. Doesn't take that chance to tag out. Probably should. He's taking quite a lot of damage. Oh, he's going for his own sharpshooter. Oh, man. Learned this from Cocky. Yeah, and is Rick going to tap? Surely, surely Rick won't tap. <laughs> Pardon? Well, Demon Rick <laughs> it works in mysterious ways, folks. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, Wang. Huh? And just like that, Cockball and Wang torture with a huge victory leading up to TLC, where in which Wanger here is going to have to defend his title in a four way <laughs> table elimination match. Well, he's riding high right now with his two best buddies. <laughs> well, that was ridiculous, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Levin. Oh man. Nice. <laughs>
I'll I'll try and play Rick's Rick's uh, thing here, Demon Rick. Let's see no, if we can play it. Might be able to play it. No, I can't. <laughs> so yeah. All I'll right, and play. next up, no, not the main event, but it's sure gonna feel like one. <laughs> Shit has been granted a match tonight on Monday Night Claw, dressed for business, going up against their old foes, Das Hot incredible stuff here could we see the resurgence of dress for business could they get themselves a title match next hmm. sunday that might be asking a lot of mr jim mcmahon we'll have to find out but before they can even enter that conversation they're gonna have to win this match right now yeah dress for business versus dressed for hats <laughs> Yeah, Das Hots uh, famously stealing a win in, in the finals of a qualification <laughs> tournament by forcing a count out <laughs> in, in very short order. Oh, Bezel. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Red Lemon is good, needs help. <laughs> oh, dude. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you mean, PC. What's wrong with this? <laughs> and there they are. They're dressed for business. They are representing <laughs> shit. And they are flying those flags. Interesting <laughs> stuff, though. Lemon is good. Getting into a massive scrap with shit co-founder Scaramezzo on last episode of shit, in which they tried to pull the same maneuver that got Lemon through to the second round, but for Fan Fox, Scuro having none of it going right after Lemon, and that fight spilled into the back before ending with a brutal head knock on Lemon. Looking pretty good right now, and he's got to stay sharp for this one if he wants to remain in the conversation, but he's got to be looking forward to the, uh, looking ahead to that round two matchup against Scuramezzo in Scuramezzo's high intensity tournament, and all of those matches can only be seen right here on Twitch or on Jimmy Fantastic's YouTube. And they go live Wednesdays, 8 p.m. UTC. Oh, yeah. After change, after change, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, lenses won't now. <laughs> Made a note for myself to change. <laughs> oh, boy. He summoned the cowboy, Lean Gary. It's great because he's a country wizard and he's from uh, country and western. <laughs> I can think could be called country and western. <laughs> country wizard. Pretty oh yeah, that's pretty good. I think it's a little too late for a rebranding for these two at this point. But yeah, yeah country western would have been good. <laughs> oh yeah, they're just hats forever, but um, pretty good. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely getting rebranded to the Country Wizard. <laughs> no more swearing. Yeah, no more swearing. Now everyone should tune in to shit on Wednesday <laughs> at 8 p.m. UTC. God damn it. <laughs> That's not really swearing, is it? God damn it. <laughs> Hello, Saturday. Oh. Very even right off the bat here. Sorry to keep you up, Jim, but Lean Guerra and Lemon just, oh, they're locking up a second time now. Ref going to have to separate him a second time. And look at that, the country wizard just letting Lemon have it from behind the ropes there. <laughs> Got him. Exactly humorous, Jim. Exactly. Evil swearers. Disgusting. Oh, savage. 
trapezius grip pinch whatever <laughs> oh, there's the counter though. Makes the tag in. Smacks yeah, and Lem foot. Lemon and uh, and Fan Fox, excellent tag team acumen from those two. And there you see it, quick tags on display to keep the advantage here. But Lean Guerra fighting his way out. Both Lean Guerra and Fan Fox and Lemon is good, all competing in the shit tournament. Uh, and and two out of the three thus far. Oh, I'm sorry, all three of them have actually advanced to the second round now. Fan mm. Fox and Lean Guerra winning last Wednesday. Lemon is good winning the week before. Pretty impressive stuff, but no real surprise given the absolute high-end quality of the entire JFW tag division. Yep. And I've got to say, of all four men in the ring or around the ring right now, Fan Fox is uh, my pick to go the furthest uh, in in the shit tournament. He is an excellent singles competitor, along along with being an obviously good uh, tag team partner. And you're seeing there that uh, that crab walk really focuses him, really gets him honed in on his opponent. And uh, well, it didn't work out for him in this case. <laughs> Uh, I do think he's gonna he's gonna go far. I'd say the same with Lemon, but a fuck Lemon and B he's facing Skuro, so <laughs> fuck him, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> and Lean Gare is pretty cool too, I guess. <laughs> Good night, cocky. See you. See you, cocky. Oh, I'm sorry. This is yeah, a bit late that is for me. true. <laughs> the commentator's curse are now applied to Fan Fox. Although I didn't pick him to win at all. <laughs> oh, he's doing a bit of a uh, moonwalking. I, I I had in fact picked Tarsus to win it all, and he was on the <laughs> first round. So, so yeah. <laughs> oh, and speaking of Tarsus getting his main event match match uh against tony plays poorly non-title on friday night stand firm delayed to sunday uh put on a hell of a show but lol tony wins hit the stunner he got the pinfall and that was it for the co-founder of shit yep <laughs> oh no unseen I, I like your chances i think you've got a uh i think you've got a, a long run ahead of you but tarsus was my pick you eliminated him so good on you a lemon drop. A devastating lemon drop from Lemon is Good. Yeah, I really like what I'm seeing from Dress for Business. Nice to see them back in tagging. And Lemon really liking what he sees from Lean Guerra's forehead here. He <laughs> yeah. is sizing him up here. And you can see it just getting that advice from Fan Fox. They're just taking it to Lean Guerra right now <laughs> mentally. This is incredible <laughs> stuff. I don't know if I can get this. Oh, oh no! He was waiting. He was baiting him for the trouble in paradise, but he misses and gets bulldog by Lean Guerra. Incredible action, just non-stop, except for the five-minute stoppage there. <laughs> oh god, driving his lemon head into the into the post. <laughs> Alright, see you night, demon. Oh see you nice night. monkey flip there. Lemon is good. Coming right. No! Oh. These two! It's almost like they've been scouting each other, getting ready to face each other in the last round. I believe the only way that either Fan Fox or Lemon is Good would face Lean Guerra would be in the finals, and wouldn't that be something? Oh boy, indeed it would. Oh, he got him that time though. Well, Lean Gary right back to his feet. Zero fucks given. Big clothesline. Big massive here. <laughs> and 
And now trying to work that kink out in his shoulder. Very kind of lean Guerra. A good yeah. sportsman, but now dropping the elbow in. Now he's going to tag here. Well done. Yep. Bringing in the country wizard, Oriolensis. <laughs> Ooh, savage. Savage knee abuse. <laughs> Oh, and here it is. Oh, nice, uh, nice rib breaker there. Gotta be honest, I quite like, uh, quite like Ori Lensis' move set. It's unique. He's got a lot. I love this fall away elbow that he does here. Yep. If he's gonna do it, yeah, there it is. Boom! Hits it. Shades of Ted DiBiase. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Only a one count. Fan Fox able to break it up and take it to Lemon, or excuse me, to Lean Guerra. But now Oriolens is looking maybe to to lock in the 150,000 Cyan Dream. <laughs> and there it is. Will oh. Lemon go to sleep? No. He, oh, he throws him right off there. And now Lemon is good. Needs to maybe tag out. No, he doesn't. And he pays for it. Drop toe hold. <laughs> Fan Fox irate on the uh, ring apron there. Yeah, Fan Fox desperately wants to get tagged in one more time for a shot at the Country Wizard. <sighs> Trying to cast the spell of some kind there. Let's see if it pays <laughs> off. Oh. Oh, no. Suplex countered and into one of his own. Lemon's got to tag out here. <laughs> or he'll just, or just go let man drops yeah. <laughs> yeah he he loves talking about himself <laughs> he oh, look at stop. this look at this Woo! oh that's a lot of moves to punch someone in the face there but it got him hyped up here oh, oh love it you love to see it yeah I love that move and here we go lemon now Lemon drop. Another lemon drop. Another lemon drop. <laughs> oh boy, he's looking grim for Oriolensis. I think he's got to. Uh, yeah. I think they've both got to tag out, really. I think they're both in trouble here. I do agree. Lemon is good, really turning it on right now, getting the Oriol, getting the country wizard into his friendly corner here. But no, Oriolensis is able to fight out of it. That would have been a good time for Lemon to tag out. Doesn't do it. <laughs> Will he pay for that? No sells the kick. Monkey flip. Oh, God, and he's brutalized. Gut wrench here. suplex. Hits the foot on the rope. That's oh, dangerous. he's going to make the tag. Oh, he oh. dies for the tag. He makes the tag. Didn't look like Fan Fox had his hands on the ring ropes that don't exist in this game. <laughs> <laughs> he was halfway he was halfway down the apron there yeah. but it sure it sure didn't pay off either i think lean garrett just gave him a kiss <laughs> yeah, <I'm all> right. <laughs> i think he just leaned in and gave oriolensis a little kiss there for good luck <laughs> <laughs> what he didn't do was tag in to help his partner <laughs> he really did just give him a little peck on the cheek there <laughs> Amazing. What is Lean Guerra doing there? Oh boy. Oh, he might be having a stroke, folks. He hasn't been hit in a while. That's dangerous. Dangerous situation happening on the apron there. Oh man. Oh, uh, we started late, Otter Royal. We were covering K Fog's uh, uh, Blood Bowl match. Yeah. Ooh. And Oriolensis is really <clears throat> digging deep here. Maybe he wants to show up all three of the shit competitors. <laughs> not entered into the tournament himself. But now that spine buster and into the oh pin. Boy. Oh, nothing well, from Lean Gary. I thought that might have yeah, been a three as well. Lean Gary saying, you're going to have to hit that rock bottom if you want to put my partner away. He's got the kiss of death on him. Mm. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Oh, speaking of, there's the rock bottom. Now Lean Guerra is certainly going to have to come in to break this pinfall up. Lemon is good coming in, too. Who's going to get there first? Lemon. Uh, well, 
No, Oreo Lenses <laughs> kicks out. Lemon wow. is good, successful on the interception. Oh, and now the arm bar locked in on Oriolensis. The old man's got some fight left in him, but not much. He's going to be fading <laughs> here. Oh, quick kick to the head. Gets him back to a vertical base, but he misses oh, and gets dragged right back down. This is brutal. He's got to get Lingari in somehow. I don't know how. He's not even on the corner right now. I don't know. <sighs> Fan Fox, a beautiful comeback. Oh, oh look at this, though. The small package roll-up. Oh. And just the two count. What a way to steal it. Oriolensis almost got the win. That would have been something. He waited him out there, but just couldn't hang on for the three count. <laughs> and now, oh, boy. <laughs> people's elbow coming. <laughs> Lean Garris still recovering on the floor. This has got to be it. That <laughs> elbow right to the heart, right into the pin. No one to break this up. What? Oh, the two count kick out again. Oriolensis <gasps> will not be denied. Lean Garris back up on the apron. Whoa, All Oriolensis has to do is get five feet over there and tag in his partner. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Shocking, shocking. So, oh, he's locked in the $150,000 sign, <laughs> sign dream, but he, I can't even say it before it's countered. <laughs> <laughs> and now, clearly, a time to tag in right now. <laughs> Oriolensis, for fuck's sake, man. There it is. No, yeah. yes, there it is. Finally oh. tags him in, puts the boot up. <laughs> oh, busts open Fan Fox, and the resilience of Oriolensis might have just saved this match. For Das Hots. Let's Absolutely. see if Lean Garrett can put him away. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> oh, I love that move. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ten oh, smashes. Already busted more. open, too. The head damage is severe. Fan Fox taking all 10 of those. And now, oh, no, but he's, he's stunned. Couldn't stop the, the tag in. Lemon is good. Comes in like a fucking missile. <laughs> and gets his ass kicked literally <laughs> by Lean Guerra. Yeah. Oh, Counter God. on, though. Lemon is shit. <laughs> nice monkey flip there. Lemon is good. Top rope. Oh, diving cross body into the pin. Oh, oh Oriolensis two counts. Oriolens is very slow to get in there. Lean Guerra saved the match. Yep. Oh, and he's looking for the trouble in paradise. Absolutely. I don't know if there's anything to stop him from hitting it. Whoa. There sure is, and he connects. But Fanfox not there to protect this pinfall. Oriolens is going to have to be quick, though. Can he do it? He's a little bit hurt on the outside. Oh, oh, he gets there last second. Thought we were going to have a repeat of Breaking Dad on Sunday. Stand oh, God, he's just killed Ori Lances. He sure has. <laughs> but Lee and Guerra getting a good chance here to recover as Lemon is good, struggling to stay focused. And now oh, he's looking God. for another trouble in paradise. He's a long way away. Oh, he missed. Oh, he ducks it. He ducks it. And get suplexed. Yeah. Oh, no, completely oh, no cells. <laughs> yeah, right onto his feet to lay in the lemon is good. What a match, Jim. This is crazy, isn't it? it is Could incredible. you imagine making the executive decision to put either members of Dress for Business on the chopping block? Insane move, if you ask me. Well, maybe he just lit a fire under them, you know? That's... Who, who can argue with the great Mr. Jim's Fantan? Whatever his name is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you, you really sold that one. <laughs> Mr. Jim Smith, man, I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> I can tell. Oh, and look at this. Oriolensis distracting the ref there oh, to no God. benefit of the. Fun Fox, oh, just had, Fun Fox just had a rope going to me through his body. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, he is lean and agile. <laughs> Oh, there's another oh. spine buster. Spine buster, does he go right into the people's elbow? He does not. 
Oh, kick stone. to the face. Might be trying to get a fox bottom. <laughs> or a shit bottom. <laughs> oh, oh no, look at this though. Look at this. Tombstone pile driver. Absolutely, this could be it. Lean Garra's got to tag out. He, the smart move by him, maybe losing a bit of momentum there, tagging in Oriolensis. He knows that it doesn't matter how many finishes Oriolensis takes, he'll just kick out. <laughs> Very likely. Oh, but here's the well, crowd. Oh, no. Maybe Lean Garra <laughs> smartly tagging out to avoid this rock bottom. Oriolensis <laughs> certainly doesn't. Where's he, yeah. Right in the middle of the ring, the pinfall. Lemon is good in to protect the pin. And he gets... Oh, oh he kick. gets to lead Gara, but Oriolensis kicks out somehow. What are they going to have to do to put each other away? Oh, it looks like a second rock bottom is on the is on the answer. And Lemon is good getting the, getting the neck breaker there. <laughs> they just can't put him away. This is ridiculous. Oh, and Oriolensis, dragon screw, had enough time to recover there. And the pinfall, or <laughs> oh, Lemon was tired on the rope, didn't yeah. come in, thought he had it, barely kicked out of that one. Unbelievable. Swinging neck breaker. And now Shirley's going to go back to that rock bottom. I expect so, he's just going to tag in. No, he tags out instead, and Lemon is good in to try and close this match out. Can we see another Lemon drop here? Looks like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then this, this has got to be it. Got to be it, Jim. Yep. And it is. Lean Guerra had to crawl in. Couldn't get there in time. Dressed for business, your winner in just an incredible match. All four of those men have got to be proud of that one. But Lemon is good. Fan Fox dressed for business, wearing those shit colors, showing them what shit's all about. Those two shitheads are your winners. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Bezel. <laughs> Uh, that's the JFW. Oh boy. And oh now boy. we've got an extreme rules match between Goliath, Fault Force, and Crusher. This is one of those matches that gets booked. But Are you there? Gorilla? Apparently not. This is one. This is one of those matches that gets booked, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's finally. If Discord's finally fucked. Okay. Next week at the Skuramezzo High Intensity Tournament. I will bring a shroud of chaos down upon it. No longer will it be the Skuramezzo High Intensity Tournament. No, it will now become the Chaos Rick Ascension Playoffs. And I will take the wayward souls and they will become my Chaos Chosen Army. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it? I don't know why it played, <laughs> but it's amazing. <laughs> and yeah, my Discord seems to be not working at all. And it's coming up with Windows errors all the time. So that's interesting, isn't it? What the hell is happening? My, my Discord is completely broken.
Okay, it's downloading updates, so it should be alright. Should be alright, Skuro. Okay, I'm in. There's no there's no Alright, hello, hello, hello. Are we back? Yes, hello. Alright, whew. I thought we were gonna have to just uh <laughs> sit through you calling the last two matches of the night. Oh, thank fuck we don't. <laughs> <laughs> And randomly played the, 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 the Demon Ring video at the perfect time as well. That's crazy, isn't oh, it? Oh, did you not even choose? I, 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 I turned, I unmuted to hear that. Yeah. Demon Rick making his presence known for shit, saying he's going to take it over and form his own chaos army. <laughs> oh, boy. Crap versus shit. <laughs> Call it. I, I don't know who he's got in the first round. But uh, boy, would uh, Skuramezzo and Tarsus probably like to see him <laughs> exited from that tournament earlier before his corruption can infest the rest of the shit universe. <laughs> yeah. And here's Goliath looking sexy as fuck. <laughs> Four. Yeah, it was incredible, honest. I'd press play though, you know, to see if it worked, and then I guess yeah. that was when you when you lost came out all together, that's when it somehow played it. <laughs> but it worked out pretty well in the end. <laughs> I'm so fucked. This is brilliant though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes Skuro, is Skuro here? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Just, uh, I was uh, enjoying uh, Goliath's uh, entrance. Oh dear. <laughs> and, uh, well, I enjoyed it much the same way that Crusher makes his way into the entrance, <laughs> or into the ring. Hard Seriously. and fast, baby. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what a start! One oh, guy does dear. nothing, one guy well, pauses, and the other guy walks out the <laughs> ring. <laughs> that, if, if ever anything could have been more like uh, descriptive of uh, the last five minutes of Jim's commentary, it was, uh, <laughs> it was the start of that match. Incredible. <laughs> oh boy, oh, we've got two knee brace boys here. This match would have been far more entertaining as a, a ladder match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, but I don't know. I thought there would be lots of table. I thought it was good then because we've got a table match, a ladder match, and a chair match then, haven't we? If I see a chair tonight, you'll be proven correct. Yeah. Also, the next matches of ladder is I thought back to back ladder matches is a bit. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, brother. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
to you. Oh, oh Goliath's just laying out Crusher there with the big clothesline. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can just say yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm aware. I've been doing this for like six months with you, Jim. I <laughs> know, right? It's crazy. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Revving up the engine. Floor. <laughs> Oh man, Fort Force taking on both big boys at once. <laughs> Frosty. <laughs> oh, this would be a merciful pinfall here, but only a one count. This is absolutely three uh, gigantic meat slabs, isn't it? Yeah, this match has uh, Mr. Jim McMahon's booking written all over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the three biggest men in the ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Expose. The last D could be exposi uh, exposition or something. Oh, the last Woof. Oh, my God. What a brutal maneuver. Oh, oh, the big boot taking down the boiled egg. <laughs> that was brutal, wasn't it? Oh, man. Crush it just, just a lot of punches, yeah. A lot of punches, but now... Nope, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Goliath pummeled, but now Fall Force coming in. This is that triple threat coming into play. Not at all, because Fall Force is just doing nothing. <laughs> Except getting set out of the ring and Crusher following for some in now unknown reason. <laughs> nope. Well, he just figured it out. <laughs> nope. He hasn't figured it out yet. <laughs> nope. He just figured it out. Oh, maybe a chair coming. Maybe. Could this be a chairs match? No, now it's, it's a sledgehammer's match. <laughs> it's getting kicked in the fucking head match. Uh, the sledgehammer will never be used again, folks. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Table. Oh, God, what a big boot. Hand boot there. <laughs> Dangerously close to that sledgehammer lying flaccidly on the mat. <laughs> oh, here comes the choke slam onto the sledgehammer. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, he drove the back of that sledgehammer into his spine. The pin. Oh, Not even a one Crusher count. Break up. Crusher breaks it up. And now the big DDT. Now he should draw, probably try and pin anyone. <laughs> there you go, big guy. Maybe the wrong guy, though. <laughs> oh, dear. You're fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, why wouldn't he shower? Like, I'm sure bulls. Like, you know, walking some water and stuff, right? Oh, God, Jim, I just realized the next segment is going to be an absolute disaster for you. Yeah! <laughs> totally yeah, it that. is! <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it couldn't happen to two better guys. You know the end result we need from it. Yeah, it's not even the next uh, thing anyway. The next thing's the ladder match, isn't it? Uh, I, oh, I thought there was... Oh, God, there's so much more. I know it's a <laughs> long show today. It sure is a long show. It's a good thing we preempted it by an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. Oh, but maybe <laughs> mercifully... No. <laughs> no. Oh. Big headbutt from a big head. He's got him! He's got him! <laughs> Crusher, my new favorite wrestler in the JFW, ending this super heavyweight snooze fest. Crusher with the win. Crusher fired up. That's a couple of big wins for him in the last few weeks. Yeah. Good job, Crusher. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> what a legend Crusher is. 
<laughs> it wasn't meaningless, J5, you know. Big fans of KFOG. Yeah, KFOG is a uh, both a shit and a JFW superstar, so had to yeah. show him his dupe. Yeah. <laughs> My NATO. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ah, the ladder match for the Wem Dope title. Now, folks, if you're wondering what the Wem Dope title is, it is a meaningless title that that Shawnee might have made in his shed, uh, because he is sitting right at the very top of the of the light heavyweight division, but not really in any sort of competition with Demon Rick for the Chaos Chosen Championship. So the Wem Dope Championship on the line here at Shawnee's request in this ladder match with the three top guys from that division. Will it be Calcium Kaz, who was victorious last week? Will it be Shawnee or will it be uh, the former champion Squirrel Dude, the former Chaos Chosen Champion Squirrel Dude <laughs> uh, in this match? Yeah. <laughs> it's entirely meaningless. Oh, oh. Oh, the match, yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, you'll probably see it on the uh, on the on the belt itself. <laughs> yep, Shawnee one day was asked to do some graphic design work. One of his specialties, he made a well done poster that looked like a red Wem dope, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much that. <laughs> Anyway, Shawnee coming out to try and win the belt of his own design, the Wem Dope belt. Maybe this will become the new light heavyweight championship. We'll have to find out. Who knows? <laughs> Shawnee up flashlights. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> There's no gold in this door. Shawnee flashlights. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I do love a bit of Shawnee entrances. <laughs> yes, Frosty, yeah, that's essentially it, yeah. It's a good question, Lemon. Uh, Shawnee made himself and didn't put it on. So there you go. But I've got the emotes, so I could put the emotes on, like, on his, uh on his jacket or something. All right, there is no mercy in his dojo. If you are 14 <laughs> years or younger, <laughs> it is Calcium Cas. He practices the way of the fist, the Cobra Kai strike first, strike hard, no mercy. <laughs> he will, he will headbutt a, <laughs> a tiny little Bespectacled <laughs> lad <laughs> <laughs> or an overweight girl, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no mercy. Oh dear. And the last entrance, Squirrel Dude, he's been on a bit of a cold streak recently. A former top guy in this division and in the JFW looking to get back to his winning ways. Yep. <laughs> well, Squirrel Dude is from Texas, Satterfield, so that does work. Although I think for him the quote goes, fake news, uh, fake news, fake nose stuffed ass can't lose. <laughs> That's pretty great, isn't it? There's the Wem Dope title you can see. Yeah. 
hang in there. It's the, the one ladder match we have that's actually for the prize. <laughs> Did you actually make this a title match? Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I still haven't updated that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh god, I'm shattered. I'm gonna have a wee. Oh dear. Okay, well Jim right might now. be gone. I might be doing a promo with both the voices later on. <laughs> oh by the way, Satterf Satterfield, tell us what you sound like. <laughs> I just assumed a British dude. A big British dude. Yeah. I've got a mouth guard that I was gonna throw into do J five since he has dentures. <laughs> so I'll have a lisp I'll have a lisp with it in. I mean I've I've met him in real life. But um it, it didn't strike me as like Cockney. Just like Southern but not Cockney, I would say. Is that right? It's hard one to replicate. Right. <laughs> Just Uncle Buck. I don't know who the fuck Uncle Buck is. My friend. Satterfield, do you wanna you wanna come in and do your own promo? You can just wing it, it'll probably be better than anything Jim achieves. <laughs> yeah, you could do. I can right. tell you the ge the general gist of what you need to go if uh, if you could throw a mic on and do it, but you might be at work. You're usually at work when you're watching right now, aren't you? Damn straight I have Bezel. <laughs> Oh, and here we go. Squirrel Dude going right up that ladder, grabbing that title. But here comes Calcium Kaz up on his own to play defense here. And it looks like uh, Shawnee's going to take them both out. No, Shawnee going after Squirrel Dude, too. And now teetering at the top here, Shawnee. Shawnee and uh, and Calcium Kaz, whoever goes off this ladder, Shawnee's got a chance to win it here. Could he call the shot and win his own title? No one to stop him. Squirrel Dude, oh wait, no, no, maybe Calcium back to his feet here. Can he get in in time or is this match going to be over before it began? Calcium climbing up and there he is. He jostles him free last second and now Squirrel Dude back in the ring here. Whew. Shawnee taking the big fall. Calcium going up, and now the the ladder getting pushed over. Calcium hanging on desperately. Power bombed on to the ladder. All right, fair enough. It's possible I'll just do both voices. I think that'll still be better than what Jim's got on offer right now. I'll just have to try and not rip my teeth out pulling this mouth guard in and out. I'll do you a zap brand again. I can do that a bit more. Uh... <laughs> I can probably do that a bit more convincingly than a British accent. Oh, dear. I'll say, yep. Now, I've got a feeling that this is how Satterfield likes to talk. Yep. <laughs> yep. See, considering you have to control the promo and deliver most of the information, Jim, I don't think that's going to cut it. <laughs> no. I can do it. I'll do both voices. It's fine. Yeah, oh, thank you. Oh, uh, this yeah. window. It can't possibly be more of a shit show, so. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> J5, you're going to sound like a, like a more nasally version of me with a lisp. Because I'm just going to hold my nose and talk. <laughs> And say streets ahead at some point. And then hopefully I won't rip my teeth out trying to swap characters. <laughs> well, there is a match in front of us right now. Turned into a good one. Thought yeah. it was going to be over real quick. But now Calcium with the advantage here. Could he go for two for two? He won a big match last week. Looking to win another one right now. He won that over-the-top battle royale. 
Well, he waited a bit too long here, and Squirrel Tears is going to grab the title while he's not looking. Oh. Oh, is he strong enough to push over that ladder? No. <laughs> <laughs> it only was a 14-year-old ladder. He could have gone. I know. But we might still have him here, though. No. No, I think this is it. Oh, no, he finally jostles him loose of the title. <laughs> Last second again, and now the power bomb. <laughs> Absolute shitter, getting rewarded. And now Shawnee's gonna go up. No, Shawnee doesn't go up the ladder. Shawnee's going out of the ring. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Is, is Shawnee gonna climb up? <laughs> he's just gonna throw it on the ground. <laughs> Why even try to win the match when you can just throw the ladder on the ground for no reason? <laughs> yeah, who cares? Oh, well, this looks bad for Shawnee though. Big back body drop coming on that apron. Oh. Oh. That's the hardest part of the ring. Squirrel Dude not figuring out how to get back in the ring, but there's no one there to stop him. If he can get up this ladder real quick now. Oh boy, this could be it, yeah. This could be it. Oh, calcium's there. We, we know he's not strong enough to knock it over. And he's just going to stand miles away. <laughs> and he's got it. Squirrel Dude up the top. And he grabs that title. Squirrel Dude is your first Wem Dope champion. If that has any value or meaning, we'll have to find out more. <laughs> Um, squire L dude. Wham dope squirrel dude. <laughs> All right. Oh boy, guys. <laughs> you want to try this, Jim, or do you want me to handle it? I could try it. Honestly, it's it's not. All right. I think the audience wants to see you fuck it all up. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling they do too. No, no, my instructions are etc. etc. <laughs> that, <Yeah. laughs> that sounds that sounds foreboding. <laughs> oh, my dogs just got home, so this is gonna get even more interesting. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'll be howling. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's get to ringside for Satterfield. One half of the heart and soul of the JFW had a rough week last week, getting abandoned by his teammate. Could he be calling it quits on him? Could he be trying to bring him back to Jesus? Let's find out. For the love of God, hopefully. <laughs> Well, hello everyone, I'm Satterfield, and uh, I'm here to speak to my good friend, Johnny Five, so uh, if you wouldn't mind coming out please, Johnny, I know you're backstage there, probably eating a Snickers or something, I've just been drinking some Grimberg and Hop character, uh, very nice, <laughs> and I'm a little buzzed, so come on, come on Johnny, hello. Anytime you're ready, buddy. Come on, my friend. <laughs> oh, my, J5 might be standing him up here. Oh, no, wait. That's his music. Here he comes. Johnny5 is in the house. Could this be the end of the Unnatural Snackers? Or could this be a fresh beginning? Will cooler heads prevail here? Listen, I don't really know what you're expecting of me, Satterfield, but I, uh, listen, I, I, I'm just sick of it. I, I feel like I do all the top rope work, I get us all the wins, and 
frankly, what have you brought to the table recently? I just got so thick of it. I just had to walk out. Yes, I also had to worry about my parking. I had to go get that validated before. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna talk now. Okay. Well, well, um, well, Johnny. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be difficult, Johnny. I, you know, I forget. I forget how you sound sometimes. Um, but anyway, I just, you know, I get why you're frustrated. You know, uh, I don't blame you. You, you, you let me get beat up, and and but I understand. You know, it's the. It's all the corporate F, you know, it's... Just, just, just stop. I, I don't have to listen to this anymore, okay? Listen, yeah, corporate AF beat us, all right? We're never going to beat them. We lost Muppet... Muppet <laughs> we lost Muppet Pac-Man. That's a hard word to say. <laughs> we lost Muppet Pac-Man. We keep losing our matches. I just, I don't... I don't know what else you want from me. You really think we're going to get another title shot this Sunday if we can link up? Again? Well, yeah, I think you know if we uh, if we linked up and we we won the main event tonight, then yeah, maybe we could, you know. And you know, we've got etc. etc. as problems, which uh, I don't understand. But uh, I t <laughs> tell you what, I do I tell you what I do understand. I had a lovely grapefruit rattler the other day, and look, you just think about all the cheesecake we could eat if we win. Would you just shut up with the fucking craft beers? First of all, no one's impressed, okay? I can buy shitty craft beers in America. This is fucking America of all places. So I don't know what the fuck you think is so exciting about finding a funny label that you take pictures of and then send to Skrull and be like, Skrull, does my picture look good? And Skrull's like, yeah, I guess I have to tell you, yeah, because I don't want you to feel bad. Anyway, I'm going on a rant now. I'm getting streets ahead here. Well, look, together we really could be streets ahead, my friend. At the moment, we're streets behind, and okay. But I think it could be better, you know. I'm, I'm sure it was. We, we're great together, you know, Johnny. We, we can do this. We can conquer the world. I'm sure we can. Don't give up on us, Johnny. We can do it. We'll get them a body bag. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're, you're really speaking my language now. So I'll tell you what. We got a main event match tonight. Six feet down on him. You got to bring it tonight, all right? I expect you to bear down for midterms on this one. So if you'll do that, if you can give me everything you've got tonight in this match, I'll make one last push for the Two Heads Championship title. Well, that's great news, my friend. Thank, thank you very much, Johnny. I'm sure we'll be victorious. You're here. I'm here. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. I, uh, I, I guess we can do it one more time. You and me, the unnatural snackers, as Gorilla Metzo likes to say, we're the heart and soul. Oh, God. I booger. Oh, it went right down my throat. <laughs> oh, God. It's stuck in there. It's stuck in my throat. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I'll see you. I'm, I'm, broke. I'm broke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, you can't talk that much when you're holding your nose. <laughs> well, look at that. The Unnatural Snackers, one last go, vacating the ring so they can make a glorious tag team entrance as they go up against Good Day Nick and Night Demon, six feet down under. Lost last week when J5 abandoned his partner. Looks like maybe they've struck an accord. One last go of it from the Unnatural Snackers. <laughs> oh my god the, <laughs> the voice was incredible <laughs> was she was she uh <laughs> was she like why do you keep talking to me what are you talking about j5 is that does she call you j5 too? <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea we have no control over the results of this match you'll notice i said nothing committal <laughs> oh god 
<laughs> oh man. I'm gonna have to hear what that one sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was pretty funny. I was trying not to die every time I was speaking. <laughs> Could you imagine of me trying to go from that to doing a Zap Brannigan voice, which I can't do very well? <laughs> that would have been, been really good, yeah. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen it. Oh. God, I've, got, I've never seen Zap Brannigan, so I, I would have had no idea for that. Do you know the actor Phil Hartman? Nope. From The Simpsons, Lionel Hutz? Nope. All right, well, you know, the guy who was famously murdered by his wife. Yeah, he's got that kind of a voice to him where he's just like, yes, anything you talk about, I'm going to sound very confident as I say it. But oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> really? We've got every episode dedicated to <laughs> Yeah, very true. <laughs> he was in Rush. Oh, he's American then. <clears throat> Should have dropped it on his dog, apparently, Bezel. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like they might have uh, found themselves once again. They're, they've got the entrance. They've got the excitement, but can they defeat six feet down under? Oh, God. Oh, he was so good, Satterfield. No, oh, boy. Agreed. Agreed, Bezel. Bezel. <coughs> Bezel. Oh, my throat's too sore from laughing. <laughs> yeah, actually, I had to grab some water real quick. <clears throat> oh. And there they are, victorious last week. Would love to go victorious one more time here. I mean, you got to believe back-to-back -back <laughs> wins over the Unnatural Snackers would pole vault them into the title match this Sunday. Will it be against Lemon is Good and Fan Fox dressed for business along with Mighty AF? Will there be a one-on-one -on -one or a two-on-two, -two, as it were, match or what? Who knows? The tag team division always gets last to the last minute, and there you go. Little high five. As they get started, J5 versus Gdanik. It's oh, a yeah. blitz pit matchup for the ages here. Absolutely. <clears throat> J5 starting things off hot. Big suplex. And the cool. kick to the back of the head. J5, you know, if he can get a win here without Satterfield even doing much, what's that <laughs> going to tell him? Oh, beautiful jump around kick there. Yeah, he's agile for a zombie, isn't he? Sure is. Except for that first time he made his entrance. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, big running scent on there. Brutal. Countered by J5, and J5 standing moonsault. You talk about agile. <laughs> yeah, incredible. Oh, nice oh, wow. counter by J5, hip toss. Very impressive. And here we go, tags in his tag team partner. Oh, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Satterfield going for broke, collapsing his spinal column there. <laughs> and that's what J5 wanted to see out of Satterfield. That next level that we all know Satterfield's been capable of hasn't gone to it in a while, and he is taking it to Gdanik right now. 
Yeah. That was brutal, that stunt, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, the tiny feet. I forgot about the tiny feet. We could have mentioned Yeah, but it's uh, yeah, the PSI involved in that, though, is uh, something to behold. <laughs> oh man, could this be a count out? No, I don't think so. Yeah, he's oh, in the God. right place, that's why I was thinking. Oh dear. Wouldn't this be something? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. That's why I thought it. They were in the right place. <laughs> oh, good job, Satterfield. Get in the <laughs> ring. Get in the ring, you idiots. <laughs> what a main event. <laughs> well, folks, it looks like nothing's going to be decided for a tag team division tonight. <laughs> But J5, <coughs> Satterfield uniting at least for one last go. Not a loss, but not a win. And I think this one's going to have to be uh, determined at a later date, possibly on Friday night. Stand firm. Stay tuned for more information about what's to come for tables, ladders, and chairs this Sunday at 8 p.m. UTC, <laughs> only here on Jimmy Fantastic's Twitch. Make sure to check out JimmyFantastic.com or head over to YouTube. Search for Jimmy Fantastic to get caught up on all of the JFW action. And don't forget to tune in on Wednesday night, 8 p.m. UTC, for our next broadcast of shit. That's the Scaramezzo High Intensity Tournament. It is the last four matches of round one and it is going to be colossal we have been told rick reckless demon prince rick reckless coming to infect the shit universe on wednesday night who is going to stand in his way find out in just two short days my name is gorilla metto as always jim thanks for having me here in the jfw and i'll see you wednesday shitheads <laughs> thank you very much gorilla thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>